My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Bandit, there it is. The Red Water Den. Hmm. It's a shield and some blood. I wonder what happened here. Who's crying out for help? another one. Here he comes. Good work. All right, look out. I need to drink. Sure, you get your fill as well. Hmm. All right then. of value. But what do we have here? Hmm. Some instruction on blocking. I certainly will put this to good use. Alright, come on, bandit. It's this way. Hmm? Right now, don't push. Hold it. If you're going downstairs, you keep your weapons to yourself, or we'll be getting better acquainted. Head on in and behave yourself. My weapons, do you mean these? Time to end this Come on. <laughs> All right. Myself and I would. These people certainly don't have anything worth taking. And what's in here? I'll take the gold. Hold on a minute. Go to the college, Tension. Who's your smarts? He says. Like I'm supposed to figure out which college he meant. There we are, Dorman. I could still use your services. <laughs> All right, 
let's go. Once was a woman as fair as me. What was that? Huh? Come on! Now you're mine. No. But really. No fire! Use some help. Where is everyone? Why is no one coming down here to help me? What's wrong with you two? There you go. Alright. Bandit. That's it. Go down the stairs. Keep going. Thank you. Hmm. Oh well, this time was up. Alright, this lady here. All right, she has some skooma on her if you want it. the door open. Oh, she even had a crossbow back here. How much is the skull? It's not even worth my taking. There's skooma behind the bar if you need it. Is this person dead? This is a shame. you two threes what was he thinking fool never saw me pull that ace out of my boot a nobleman let me help you with your addiction Picked a bad time to get lost what the I've got him easy now Thought I had him. At least I've gotten some blood from him. for me to reanimate? <laughs> this must be some sort what of a joke. You, what about this nobleman? Ah, there we are. Arise, my friend. Looks like he's not moving. Let me take on this attendant. There we are. He seems to have flame magic. Let's go. Alright, nothing but ashes there. Ah. 
Look at this, an Imperial. There you are, sir, a fitting end. Yes, maybe you should serve me in death. All right, let's continue. Anyone else? Bathrooms. No rough stuff. Just take it and go. Don't sound like much fun, though. Someone in here. <laughs> Once was a woman as fair as an eagle of springtime in old Ross Mackay. Freshly deceased. Kill him, he talks to me like that again. Dead him while he's sleeping. A wood, A wood elf. His meat. I'll leave See him, he's kind of in an fat. awkward position. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, we just lost our Imperial soldier. Let's go. Two threes. What was he thinking? Fool never saw me pull that ace out of my boot. Some here, moon sugar. Oh, look at all this One moon sugar. From me. 
sleeping tree sap. Virulent stamina poison. I'll take it all. Alright, let's go. It rise. Should have known she was lying. She said she'd wait. Look. But they never wait. Oh, a vampire. I don't think I can... Hmm. Let me dream charm him and see what happens. Hmm. We're now allies. Mead, mead, mead. Kill him to get some beer every now and then. Stupid beer. Yo, friend. Good work, the both of you. Start keeping a knife in my boot. Tired of getting disarmed. Mm, he's still with us. I think he just just died. Go to the college, Dancer. You keep your smarts. Like I'm supposed to figure out which college he meant. Skeleton. Pick your pockets. Now that's the real art. No rough stuff. You just take it and go. Hmm. Don't sound like much fun, though. No, they didn't. this iron all right let's keep moving i don't know where that creaking is coming from told him you just hand over the nah, here Probably want to get in some action. Known she was mine. Ain't this a surprise? <laughs> <laughs> that was way too easy. He 
talks to me like that again. Get him. While he's sleeping, what poison is meat? See how he likes that. <laughs> I'm not sure that's. Are there other areas here? That we may have missed. Alright, there's a trap. What can I do for you, friend? Just watch out for that trap. Okay, it's empty. Is it? But they got that secret magic. You can turn wood to gold. Yeah, wish I could turn wood to gold. All right, let's head for the, uh, if I can find my way. That secret door we discovered. with my conjuration. There we are. All right, let's go. Like that shield that you have, and you wield it very well. to disenchant. <laughs> All right. According to the inscription, it's through here to the Redwater Spring. Narius Vulpin's journal. I found an interesting book of short stories on the pawn shop's shelves today. I don't think the owner will mind if I take it. I really should spend more time around the docks. These Altmer are too thin-blooded for my tastes. Anyway, one of the tales in the book is an account of the blood spring of Lingir's feast, 
a fabled source of power for vampires. It is a story I have read several renditions of before, but this version suggests that it may be located in Skyrim, in a ruin buried by quaking of the earth during the Second Era. Considering that my business here with the Inquisitor, Almore, I'm sure I'm butchering that, is, shall we say, at an end. It might be a good time to leave Somerset for a worthwhile diversion for the next 20 to 30 years. Perhaps I shall investigate this fabled blood spring. I was able to obtain passage from Alinor to Solitude by way of ship. No mean feat with this Nord insurrection going on. I assure you I ran across one of my own in the local tavern and feared at first that it might cause problems for me, but it turns out that she is well positioned here in the city and has been happy to help if I keep a civil manner. We spoke much on my research into the Bloodspring, and while she made sure to point out that she thinks it's a soft-headed pursuit, she did say that what she's heard would point to the rift. After months of searching, I finally may have found a lead. While looking for a bit of dinner in the Villamere Inn, I overheard an old hermit by the name of Jokul talking about strange red water he found bubbling out of the ground. Once I dispose of this soldier, I'll follow to see if I can find the location. I can't believe I didn't realize sooner. Joe Cool has been taking buckets of rock and dirt out of his house all week. When I realized that he's digging a basement, I snuck in to check if he had uncovered the blood spring. He's hit a cave system that must be where the blood spring has sunken into over the years. It was hard to see in the dim light, even with my eyes, but I would swear the water I saw pooled on the ground was red. Unfortunately, he woke up while I was exploring the basement, and he dropped his torch on a pelt as I killed him. More setbacks. All right, this is a bit much to read. I think, oh, this is the last page. All right. The Runnels I initially found had passed through too much rock and dirt, but I've befriended some of the locals and we've managed to find the source of the blood spring. We've kept a low profile so as not to draw too much attention, and thus far I've managed to keep them to only attacking hunters and other dregs, but we'll need to set up a ready food source that won't draw too much attention if we are to remain here. The blood spring is not everything that I'd hoped it would be, though it is blood, and it gives great strength. It provides no sustenance and the power it grants lasts only for a short while, and carries a weakening of the body and mind with it. I've had to lock the door to the chamber to keep the others from becoming completely dependent upon it. When I've tested it on mortals, it is worse for them, for it carries only disease and addiction, with no benefits at all. Addiction. I may have just found a solution for our food problem. Hmm, clever. Clever. Just need one good horse. All right. So why don't you just drink the blood from the myself and voices? Easier. Running a school Monday. The boss said it's some sort of profane spring. It looks like blood, but it's not the real thing. Drinking it gives you strength, but it also gets you pretty messed up. That's why we have to put it in the spring. <laughs> I do freeze. 
What was he thinking? Fool never saw me pull that ace out of my boot. All right, there's no getting through there. This is someone's spine. Mm. to get some beer every now and then. Stupid. All right, I'm seeing vampires. Bees are stupid. <sighs> Someone there? Looks like we may be going down. Let's see what's over here first. Oh, what? Bandit, really? <laughs> you really like using that shield. All right, there's nothing else here. Come on. One rusty septum from me. Should have known she was lying. She said she'd wake up. Ah, ah chest. Wait. Booby trapped. I'm not sure. Looks like a pit on the other side. Let's go. Sure, that's the right way. I'm supposed to figure out which college he meant. I don't think we found this chest. And 
this is we were on the other side here. So if I open this. Oh look, a coin purse. Should be going back this way, though. Picky pockets. That's the real life. No rough stuff. Just take it and go. Don't sound like much fun, though. There's a chest over there. Hmm? Well, it looks like there's only one way. And it's probably down in that pit, but... Sure, there was a way through once you get through those uh, pendulums. There were spikes on that end. Here's Marks. Like I'm supposed to figure out which college he meant. of it. Don't come through here, bandit. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Bandit. There is no other way of going. All right, let's go back up top. Should have known she was lying. She said she'd wait. through this door. Thought we came through here. Yes. Two threes. What was he thinking? Fool never saw me pull that ace out of my boot. All right, this is different. Ah, lions of the harlot. That brat. 
that ain't mine. It could be anyone's. Won't get one rusty septum from me. Like a vampire about to return to his coffin. Got that secret magic. Can turn wood to gold. Yeah, wish I could turn wood to gold. Did you hear something? Seems like there are more coffins than there were vampires. Mm, a human heart, frost salts. Sure, I did not step on that. What is this? All right, looks like this is the way. She was lying. She said she'd wait for me. Ah, but they never wait. All right, looks like we have a house full. Let's start with this vampire over here.
What was he thinking? Who never saw me pull that ace out of my boot? All right, here's more of Venaris Vulpin's research. Oh my goodness, how long is this one? Thanks to the more sordid past of some of my underlings, we found a way to add the waters of the blood spring into the process for turning moon sugar to skooma. It is far more potent and highly addictive. We've turned the basement into a den and sent out some of the locals with samples to lure people back, turning the disappointment of the spring into a ready supply of blood. All right, I think that's enough. Wait, there was something about the chalice, but anyway, I'm carrying it, so... Studded armor of appetite, I'll take that. Ah, oh, need me some skooma. And we have a chest here. gems I need from Odessi. All right. Let's check out this vampire. Mm, blood potion. What, this necklace is only 15%. It's ridiculous. All right. Target consumed by anger, taking six magic damage for 10 seconds. I'll take it. Could be anyone. Won't get one rusty septum from me. Let's see if I can disenchant this, or do I already know it? Apparently, I know. Okay. Never enough gold. Just need one good horn. Uh, 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 don't push me. All right, let's see what's up here. Sneak. the red water. I've never seen such a thing. Neither have I. Well, it's really too bad. You know. The little accident we had completely unexpected. Yeah, too bad. Lord Harkins, no favor. Dead. Shut up. What was that? No one has time. Oh, look out. <sighs> okay. I tell you, my timing couldn't be more impeccable. Once was a woman as fair as an evening, a springtime in old Dosmuk. Get any more water from the spring. Kill him to get some beer every now and then. All right, let's 
let's go. Here we are. Him. He talks to me like that again. Yeah, him while he's sleeping. Or poison is meat. See, the entire Redwater that. Den decimated by two vampires. <laughs> Let's go. for so long. All right, almost five in the evening. I'm gonna start keeping a knife in my boot. I'm tired of getting disarmed. All right, let's get back. Bandit, come on. There you are. I see you have returned. Lord Harkon will be pleased. You met Skalf and Salonia, I assume. Lord Harkon and I suspected they might follow you there. I killed them both. As well you should have. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkon's court. Vingalmo and Ortheolf both long for our Lord's throne, but cannot make overt moves against him. Each sought to gain power by using his underling to kill you and keep the chalice for himself. By ensuring the chalice reaches our lord, you have increased his power over them and at the same time deprived them of their little pets. You've done, Lord Harkon, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart and be careful who you trust. Now, I believe that Lord Harkon wishes to speak with you. <laughs> Very well. All right, bandit. Let's go see what Lord Harkin wants. Could be anyone. One rusty 